Um, hello everyone, happy to see you here for today's topic, which is a little bit of a sticky, bleh, murky topic, but I'm glad that we can do it because this I'm seeing a lot of people inside our community or entering our community. Yeah, the people who are moving in our community and who are approaching us feeling a lot of demotivation. And um, actually, I think it's a general climate, you know, in in the world, in the post-COVID, still in COVID and everything that's happening. There's definitely a lot of anxiety. There's definitely a lot going on. And people don't really have a way to process the truth and the authenticity of their feelings. So it stacks up. People get overwhelmed. And, um, and then, of course, you get demotivated to do what you actually want to do. But if you're an actor... More specifically, you may feel like, you know, like you're looking at your acting career and it feels like a mountain to climb. It feels like even if you're booking a job, I was hearing someone um, not a long time ago saying that they had booked a great job, the lead in a feature, and they just didn't want to rehearse, didn't want to get ready for it, like feeling demotivation, that like there's no passion for it. Um, maybe even like, um, you know, whether it's you thinking about working on your acting itself, like training in a class or training with some friends or doing some scenes for yourself, for your reel to post on social media, you may feel like, well, I don't want to do that. Like you don't want to act even. You don't want to do the business side of things. Like you don't want to take more meetings. You don't want to reach out to directors. You don't want to go to workshops. You don't want to go to auditions. Um, you know, I'm hearing a lot of that too. And then definitely, uh, it's very rare that I meet anyone who is feeling so motivated, so passionate that they actually want to create their own content, that they're not taking no for an answer. Like when people are moving into our community before they start doing the freedom work, I feel a lot of big demotivation. And of course, it's very, very frustrating because you didn't get into acting to feel demotivated. Acting is a passion. It's the art form that you chose. It's kind of luxury to be able to be an actor. It's like the, you know, the job of your dreams and here you are actually doing it or not doing it as much as you want and you're not feeling the motivation, you're not feeling the inspiration. It's not charging your batteries, it's depleting your bar your batteries, right? So on top of it being frustrating, you can also feel at one point like there's been so much frustration and so much demotivation that you're depleted, that you're approaching burnout. And then you have another opportunity come in and of course because you have all this demotivation going on well you can't really show up for it so you're not booking and then it's a downward spiral because you're having less and less motivation less and less result less and less motivation less and less result more frustration more burnout etc right so you may have tried you know like fixing yourself like okay there's something wrong with me I'm gonna do some therapy or I'm gonna do another class or I'm gonna do a new method it's maybe because you know, the way I'm approaching acting is too hard and maybe I'm going to study with this great acting teacher and then everything's going to be better. Um, so yeah, you may, you may have tried pushing yourself, like feeling, okay, I'm, I'm demotivated. So there's something wrong with me and I need to push myself. I need to do something about it. I need to push through. Right. Um, and that hasn't worked either, right? I'm hearing a lot of people saying everything they've tried and yet still they're feeling like, bleh. Like something's not right. Something's not right for you. Something's not working. And um, uh, I'm also hearing people who get together in groups who are trying to, you know, get some accountability groups some communities, which is great initiative to try and get, you know, other humans to be on your route and to help you find your motivation again so you're less lonely. But again, that will crumble pretty fast. So what I would like to do today is to actually get to the root cause of why you're feeling demotivated. And I think uh, the way I like to put it is to say it's great news that you're demotivated because if you're actually pursuing your dream, your passion, your favorite art form, and it's not feeding you and you're not feeling absolutely ecstatic from it or excited about what's to come and excited to invest yourself, it means that the way you're approaching it is not the way that works. Well, what I'm going to say now is that if you're feeling demotivated, it's probably 
because even if you have good intentions, you're probably coming to your acting from a junk acting type of perspective, which means that you're not coming in from an inside out perspective. You're not coming in from a deep, truthful place. You're not coming in from a soulful, free place inside of you and really being authentic, free and present in the moment. It means that you're coming with pushing, with faking, with pretending, with trying to look good, with trying to get it right, with being competitive with others, with actually being very surfacy in the way that you're approaching, very ego oriented. Like I'm not coming here and showing up in my acting gig or the audition or the meeting with an agent or a casting director or creating content with my heart and soul. I'm actually coming here with my ego. I just want to look good. I just want to get validated. I want to get the love. You're there to take stuff. You're not there to give stuff. You're not in the gourmet acting where you actually show up fully human, fully authentic, fully in the moment, fully soulful and purposeful. You're not free. You're just like a pretend layer of who you truly are. And because you're a pretend layer of who you truly are, you might get some low hanging fruits here or there. You might book some jobs, but at the end of the day, you are demotivated because pursuing your ego's dream is gonna be junk. It's not what you're here for. You're not here to make your ego happy. You didn't come to this life. You didn't win the battle of you know, the sperm and the eggs in your mom's body to pursue your ego's dream, to get validation, to get approval, to look good, to be right. None of that matters to who you truly are. And because none of that matters, when you're pursuing that path, inevitably you end up being demotivated even if you get a lot of work, right? As I was saying, even if people are getting a lot of work, we sometimes get them in our community and they just go, please help. I'm working every single day of my life. I've been working for decades and I'm miserable because what you're showing up with is such a small part of your absolute, beautiful, magnetic, incredible human self of your truthful, free self that your system is saying, fuck that. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not going to continue to do this type of junk showing up of junk acting because it's not feeding your soul, right? Just like junk food will not feed your body. It will not have the nutrients showing up in a junky way as an actor will not feed your cells. It will not feed your soul. It will not feed your heart. You will be left depleted, right? So it's a great red flag if you're feeling demotivated. It's absolutely great because you can then say, oh, well, no matter how, what I'm doing, what I'm putting in there, what I'm, um, how much I'm going into the business side of things, how much I'm going into, you know, working out my acting, no, ma no matter how much content I'm going to create, if I'm coming from a perspective that is junk to me, which is I'm just functioning on my ego to get results, take things from people, get approval, get love, get validation, get to look right, please others. None of that is actually enriching to the, to the soul. None of that is the gourmet type of presence that you can show up with. And when you show up that way, I can promise you your every single cell is happy jumping up and down because you're living your true purpose because you're freely being who you authentically are and nothing in you is trying to be appropriate nothing in you is ego driven it's all heart and soul and that's why you're here so when you're doing that whether you're doing the business side of things whether you're pursue you're doing you know an, an audition whether you're um, taping whether you have a job whether you're creating content when you're really in your gourmet self, meaning you're really there, you're authentic, you're free, you're absolutely truthful to who you truly are in your being, in your essence, in what you came for, everything you do feeds you because you are literally living what you came for, right? So it's food for your soul. Whether you get the casting or not, whether you book it or not, whether you agree with people or not, if you are being fully you, fully authentic, fully freely expressing yourself, you are feeding your soul. And the result will be that you will book way more often because people will see you because you're actually there. You're not a junk version of yourself. 
You're the gourmet version of yourself. You're truthful. You're free. You're present. You're unapologetic. You're not trying to get energy from other people. You're not trying to book and please and sell. You're actually there gifting yourself, gifting your truth, gifting your vulnerability, gifting what's unique about you that no one else could gift. You're daring to put yourself there, right? And when you do that, there's no demotivation. Everything you do feels like ecstasy. And I'm not even choosing a word that is little. I know that in the place that you may be now, you may feel like ecstasy, that's BS. It's not BS. When you're being your authentic self, whether you're eating a crumb or eating a steak, it feels like ecstasy because you know there's nothing else in the world that you could be doing than actually being truly there, freely you. There's nothing else that you could possibly do. You're being the full essence of who you are, the full expression of who you are. And therefore, you in that moment experiencing, experiencing yourself and the event that you're meeting, the audition, the casting director, the agent, the content that you're writing feels extraordinarily you. It, it feels truthful. It feels free, free. And how do you do that? Well, of course, you're wired to please. You're wired to get, to look good, to be right, to be better than others, right? That's how you were conditioned at school by your parents. You're wired to think a certain way. You're wired to, to behave a certain way, to feel a certain way, right? That's, that's how we were all raised, and so there's a need to undo that, to undo the conditioning, to undo the learned behaviors that were wired and programmed into your system so that you can show up fully you, right? So that's the work we do in our community. We help actors undo everything that has forced you into that ego, into that cage, into that superficial version of you that only pretend, so to speak, Oh, I can't say the word. Potentially in your imagination will serve others, but it doesn't. There's no real gifting there. It's only trying to get. And there's no art. There's no satisfaction. There's no fulfillment for you. So make sure um, that if this resonates for you, if you're wanting to feel your inner inspiration again and not motivation from the outside, if you're really wanting to feel that power to make yourself fulfilled and motivated and show up fully like you truly are and actually practice your art as an artist, like a true artist, not a pretend one, not a fake one, not the one that's chasing for their ego, then let us know, DM us, um, sign up for... Um, the wait list in the link in the bio or in the about section, um, send us a DM, download the free training. It's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great. And that will already take you a step further. And we can definitely discuss if you send us a message. Okay, thank you. Bye.